Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find uh, the equation of the line in which uh, the problem involves the concept of perpendicular lines. So it says in the problem, we have to find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to 3x plus 2y equals 12, and the line passes through 3, 4. So how do we find that equation of the line? So please take note that whenever two lines are perpendicular, so the perpendicular lines will look like this. So if this is the first line, and the line that is perpendicular to the given line will form a 90 degree angle. Okay, so that is why it says they're perpendicular. Now, how do we um, find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to a given line? Say this is L1 and say this is L2. So how are we going to find the equation of L2 when it is perpendicular to L1? Okay, so the idea will re rely, or you will depend on the concept of perpendicular lines. Now take note that when two lines are perpendicular, the slopes, so the slopes, the M, the slopes are negative reciprocal, reciprocal of each other. Okay. So, the first line, or the given line is 3x plus 2y equals 12. So, we need to know what is the slope of this line. So, so please be careful that this, uh, this equation is not yet in the form of y equals mx plus b. For you to get the value of the m, you have to transform this equation into y equals mx plus b. So, how are we going to do that? So, just manipulate the equation by performing... Uh, some operations. So first, I can subtract 3x on both sides. So if I have 3x plus 2y minus 3x, this is 12 minus 3x. So the goal here is to take away the 3x on the left side. So when I do that, this will become 0. So you have 2y is equal to 12 minus 3x. Now, this is 2y, but what we need is to make it a y. So what we can do is we can divide everything by 2 and if we do that we have y equals 6 minus 3 over 2x and this is also the same as y equals negative 3 halves x plus 6 since you want to, to transform it into y equals mx plus b now looking at this equation it's very clear that the slope is equal to negative 3 over 2 now take note that this line, or this, uh, the equation that we need is the one that is perpendicular to this line. So that means the slope that we need will have a slope which is the negative reciprocal of negative 3 over 2. So negative reciprocal means it's the opposite of the sign. So it's, this is negative, so we have positive. And reciprocal is the reverse of the fraction, so we have 2 over 3. So the slope of the line perpendicular to 3x plus 2y equals 12 will have a slope m equals 2 over 3. So that means if we are looking for the equation of the line which, is, which will follow the form y equals mx plus b, the line that we need is in the form of 2 third x plus b because the slope is 2 over 3. Now how do we find the value b? So since the line is passing through the point 3, 4, that means whenever x is 3, so this is 3, when x is 3, the y value is 4. So if I use x as 3 or 3 as x, then the y is equal to 4, and then you have plus b. So you will be able to find the b by simplifying this or solving this equation, and you have 4 equals 2 plus b, and that will give you b is equal to 4 minus 2, or b is equal to 2. So that means the equation that we need is y equals 2 third x plus the b, which we have obtained as positive 2. So this is the line that is perpendicular to the given line 3x plus 2y equals 12. So the key in, the, in solving this problem is the idea of perpendicular lines. When, when two lines are perpendicular, the slopes are negative reciprocal of each other, which we have shown here that if the first slope is negative 3 over 2, 
the slope of the perpendicular line or the line perpendicular to this would be the negative reciprocal of negative 3 over 2 which is positive 2 over 3 and then set up the equation the slope intercept form of the equation and then supply the slope and then find the value b using the given point okay so keep that in mind when you encounter this problem